Hi everybody, this is uh, Jarno, PR3DMI. My previous video was about how to make a balloon for a uh, long wire antenna for shortwave. I got some uh, emails about uh, the coil itself, so I made uh, this movie. It's not in uh, HD, because the HD camera doesn't have any marker. So uh, I use my uh, trustworthy Canon. Ok, it's about this. This is the schematics of the Walen. It uses a core, 4C65, and you use 3 turns, or 6 turns, 3 times. This is 6 turns, this is 6 turns, this is 6 turns. This is the output wire. Uh, it's about uh, 16 meters and 20 centimeters, and this is coax in. Input, and this is the ground. Only the first coil goes to the ground. Okay, next. For clarification, this is number coil 1. This is coil number 2, 2, this is coil number 3, 3. For clarity, I give them every start and end of a coil a separate number. On the first coil you start at 1 and you end at number 2. The second coil, number 3, ends at 4 and finally the third coil starts at 5 and ends at 6. These are 6 turns each around the coil itself. Next page. Ta -da. Oh, I'm so good in drawing. Ok. This is the coil itself. The 4C65. This is the wire, and don't forget to use copper wire, and it's al always lacquered, so there's a coating around the wire, so you have to scrape it off before you solder it, don't forget it. You start over here, goes into here, comes out over there, and so on, six times. So, that's the output. This is the first coil, starts at one, and set 2. Next page. Hey, this is the complete balloon. Coil number, oh, this is the coil, and this is the first, du -du 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 -du, and set 2. The second starts at 3, and set 4. And finally, number 5, this is really 5. And set 6. Ok. Always be aware to the wires. It, because it's lacquered you can use them uh, close together, so that's no problem. But don't forget to get it off at the end, otherwise you can solder it. Ok. Now the big trick from the balloon. Solder number 1 and 4 together. So this one from the first to the bottom one of the second coil. Solder number 3, this one, to number 6. So what do you get? 1 and 4 are together. Let's coax in. 3 and 6 go together, but you don't connect anything to it. If you look at the schematics over here, this is 3 and this is 6 and it's not connected, just like this one, 2 and 4. Number 1, let's go it out, number 5, that's the last on the top goes to the wire out 
and there were two. That's the first of the first turn six times. Is your ground. Okay, scrape off the lacquer of the coil and solder it like this. One goes to right number four. Three goes to six. Number one is coax in. This one is not connected. Just leave it out, uh, out there. This is number five. That's the wire out. And the wire out is your output 60 meters, 20 centimeters of, well, washing line. As long as it's uh, conductive, steel wire may do the trick. Number two. That's the ground. And that's all to it. And this is really this in schematics. So, if you have any questions, just uh, mail me. You can find me on qrz.com. And otherwise, look me up, up on Twitter and also on Twitter. So, enjoy your weekend. And have lots of fun. And let me know how the building is going on. Bye-bye.